very good character against Sadira as well. Oh, packing up. I definitely don't like that. Don't get too far away from uh, Kilgore. You do not want to give this character space. No. That's not plus, unless he's like heated up and an instinct. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I think that is something that we do see a lot more in this rookie's bracket is just like these raw shadow guns. Ooh, that is punishable, Mr. Punish. These players are more likely just to send stuff. Did, did bait it. Nicely done. And the webs are coming out. Gets a combo. Gets oh. a lockout. Yeah. Up the life. Could have extended a little bit more. Hey, look at this instant usage, though. Nicely done. Right on the pressure. Gone now. All right. Honestly, got some good, good, good stuff out of the instinct, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, maybe it tried to shadow recluse. It is pretty. It's pretty good, but it's only fast. Body roll. It's an it's upper, upper body. body yeah. Well. Oh no! I think it's throwing as well. Maybe she was trying to do the sweep. I don't. Sadir's so probably is not punishable. Keeps on trying to hit that yeah. far low, but the crouching medium is not far enough. Waste the meter on the Shadow Web Clean, but does get the life bar. Kilgore's instinct is scary. Yeah, that is <laughs> Still one Still got good. it. That thing just hits you out of the air. Okay, instinct wake up. Gotta yeah. hold it. Oh, but the web, nicely done. I like it. Into the web. Another web. And the low. Oh, it's web in the air. It's not where you want it. It's not doing any good up there. Alright, gets one more web. No, instant gun. PC2 Mel still hasn't used his single his instinct yet. We should definitely use that soon. Kilgore's instinct is a robbery instinct. Yeah, it's very good. He, like, gets if he to pops be, it now, he can kill. He gets to be fully heated up and not lose his range. Yeah, and he builds a ton of meter and he does more potential damage on stuff. So, like, he builds potential damage to catch out with his shadow. Yeah, there's a confirm. Ooh, he's not breaking. She blows it That's out the though. Combo. Oh, it's very surprising looking. Yeah, I definitely would be like, what punishable. is happening? Yeah, chain gun assault is a punishable attack. Could have actually just fully killed. The shadow missiles are going to kill if she doesn't block them. Yeah. I mean, even yeah, if she did block match. them, they might have killed. Right, going back into it. Finds the big jump in. Can I extend with the juggle? Ooh, he doesn't. Chris said he was ready in chat. I might just have to DQ Chris if he's you know, not doing anything. For the round, at least. Can I get recapped? No, oh, that was weird looking. Wake up single hit into shadow. That takes some balls. Alright, what's for breakfast? Ooh, meaty throw. PC2 mill, these I think should represent DP more. Raven is always pressuring on wake up. Kilgore does get a combo off his DP, which is a very good reward. Oh, nice. Oh, no breaker. Also 34%. Could have actually shadowed through that, I believe. Kilgore did not yet have the meter to exhaust cancel. But he does now. Alright. Nice little juggle. Nice, he done. Punish? Oh, it's not ready. There's the whip punish. Alright, Craven. A little bit of pixel off on a green bar. Big punish? No, what for the throw? Out of range. Yeah, Hopefully just, just uh, Wait. never throw punish. Um, well, almost never throw punish. If you're looking to punish something, you yeah. can do way more. You can do a jab if you can throw. And like, Sadir does get a juggle combo off for throw, but like, that can be a risk too if they break it. Yeah, that is mega plus when he's an instinct. And look at all the PD it builds. Oh, no confirm. I'm not sure why I said it like that. Yeah, a lot of PD cash out. Uh, instinct, I don't. though. 
I don't know about trying to shadow counter out of Sadira's instinct. Yeah, the web will usually blow that up. I like that. Actually, she managed she managed to get the sandwich in between the web. It breaks it. Instinct on the side of PC2 Mill is huge here, though. What for the counterbreaker? But it was so far away. Didn't know how to punish. There we go. Oh, the ultra. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Oh my goodness. Right, going back into it. Kilgore versus Sadira. Both these characters are also not easy to play characters, for sure, in my opinion. Yeah, Kilgore especially. I feel like it's just he's a very strange character. Mm -hmm. And Sadira is like she's got a lot of technical stuff you can learn if you really want to do some execution heavy stuff. Mm -hmm. Again, a lot of this pressure is not super real. Craven disrespecting it. I mean, it's better to block than get hit, though. No shadow counter on In that. In most cases, not all cases. That's like the one thing you should be looking for against Kilgore with shadow uh, counters in mind. It's the fired up. I don't think it's called fired up, but whatever. The the heated up uh, metal ball does two mm -hmm. hits. Yep. It is not plus, but yeah, definitely worth shadow countering. Because it's guaranteed being an airborne move. PC2 Mills are sliding a lot of stuff rock, which I, I mean, I respect it. Nice little juggle. Tricky stuff. I, I like the attempt. The she had like no yeah. life left. You know, might as well go for it. And if he does like a crouching medium kick, then yeah. Oh my <laughs> Just, god. Yeah, high priority grounded spe special. Four frame shadow. If you're holding up, you are getting got. As PC Jamil did there. Del, PC Jamil's gotta use his instinct more. Kilgore's instinct is too good not to like get two of them. And not meaty! Just letting Craven wake up Blade Demon. Ooh, I like it. Okay, that's the sweep. Don't shadow counter! Yeah, it's not gonna work. It didn't even work at all. Like, the web didn't even matter. <laughs> that's because he shadow countered the first hit of this shadow. Yeah, yeah. You have to wait till the last hit of that one, usually, anyway. That is ill-advised. For the web out. Get punished the web! Let's go. Could have altered though. Level. And the air to air. Raven and the taunt. She's feeling herself. Which, you know, that might be a misinput. Yeah. And I think in the rookies, it's also worth like seeing if, even no if you get counterbroken, if your opponent has the optimal counterbreaker combo or not, because then it's less of a risk for you to mm -hmm. break if they're not getting their max damage. All right. Oh, PC two mils going in. Never mind. You're in the corner Sidira's now. Definitely got. Yeah, Sidira's definitely got much better frame data than Kilgore. So like, PC two mil getting counter hit there, I think will happen if they're both trying to do stuff. Breaks the sweep into instinct. Oh, but it blew out the combo. You cannot combo off of count combo breaks. Uh, too far away. I thought, but PC two mil just didn't block. I yeah, you try to press something, maybe trying to whip punish, but that shadow priority. Yeah, probably could have even just like back dash out of the way with that how far away that was. Mm-hmm. I like the damage. Again, DP. Yeah, Craven has been not really trying to bait DPs. One really good thing you can do with Sidira is like just her single jump over, so you can like bait a double jump or something else during the freeze frame. Very good against DPs. Never knows it looks like PC Timel just doesn't have the angle of Kilgore's jumping shot to really hit Sidira. Mm hmm. There we go, the up guns, though. Oh, just gets got. And it? No, we blow it out. Four frames. Gotta have your meaties. Oh, we just got hit. Yeah. yeah. You can't really DP through those webs either. I think they'll blow up Kilgore's DP as well. Ooh, the web on the other side of the screen, though. Not good for Craven. Extreme. 
Minus? Respecting it though? Yeah, like it, it can be a little rough right. depending on the spacing. That is, yeah, minus on block. Mm hmm. Yeah, you just gotta play around Kilgore's resources for sure. And tendencies. But outside of instinct, Kilgore's kind of pretty low damage. And outside of fired up. Bro, you see Recluse whiff punish stuff like too common, like too frequently for it not to be a thing. The hitbox on it is just so good. Well, that's always a light if you want to break the DP after the DP. Ooh, that cross up dirty. Nice break. Yo, DPI, what's up? Do you think those low guns that close might be punishable by Shadow Blade Demon? Yeah, we've seen that a lot in the rookies. A lot of shadow counters after blocking a jump in. The Nopalope of KI. I mean, it's good. It's honestly something I should probably use every now and then just to you know, like make my opponent think, you know, maybe maybe I shouldn't just press a button after a jump in. Mm -hmm. There's the shadow missiles. <laughs> it was spinning there. Alright, Craven not in a good spot here. She definitely wants to try and take this life bar as soon as possible, but it's not looking good. There's a break from PC2 Mill. And getting broken by Kilgore can be pretty bad because he sends you so far away. Mm -hmm. He's definitely a, a character that just wants to keep you away. Although he does have to play, you know, he loses range as he does it more and more. So he has to go in yeah, and out of these. Scouter breaker, kill! Make sure you kill, nicely done. Not the optimal, but you know, you killed. Good enough. That's good. And it built the least amount of instinct. Yeah, the shadow priority will be whatever else you do in the air. The web! Found it. <laughs> With the web again! Letting it rock. Letting it rock? No. Breaks the shadow. Once Kevin's out of instinct, this is definitely be a lot harder for her. Fighting against PC2 Mill, who's now used both of his instincts. But didn't reach for the whip punish. Yeah, she does. Uh, Sierra actually has some really good footsies buttons with like her standing heavy punch and whatnot. Well, PC2 Mill clutches it out in a close 3 2 set. With the full ultra. I don't know if I've seen his ultra. Yeah, I don't know either. Yo, Insight, what's up? A future PCK Project K champion. Probably. I know. Is Ru, Ru. I was gonna say, is Ru playing as well? 